not be here in Hampton Roads this year, Tear, but there's still plenty of excitement over the something in the water. The weekend festival will not be in the nation's capital on the weekend of Juneteenth, but already some people in the 757 have their passes for the event. 10 on your side photojournalist Kevin Rom was there as those hot tickets were purchased. We um, missed school for this. Something in the water tickets, baby. And you, and you got them, right? Oh, for sure, yeah. Two two tickets. I wasn't going to miss it. Um, I think it's a great event. And whether it's in D.C., Virginia Beach, I'm always going to support. How's the line moving? Uh, <laughs> it's not really moving too fast now. Hopefully they get, you know, some more people in here. Like, Play some games or something. It's like, it's 1030, and, like, they already opened the, the gates. We've moved, like, probably, like, 10 feet. Like, just get real comfortable. Be patient. You'll get there. It'll be worth it. We're excited to get these tickets either way, so I think we'll be good. This is going to be a good concert, so we're excited for it. I'm so excited for the festival to be in D.C. this year. Can't wait to go. My tickets got, uh, you know, canceled a few years ago because of COVID, so I can't wait. Who are you most excited to see? Uzi. I'm so excited to see Uzi. Outside of Pharrell, I'll probably say Little Baby or I'm a big Sid fan as well. I mean, all in all, he does it all. He, he brings everybody, so it's always a good time. What time do you have to get here in order to, to have gotten your tickets already? <laughs> we got here at 4.30 a.m. There were people here actually before us. The first person said she was here at 2 a.m. Because I came and bought my ticket 2019, and I was late on the ball, and I saw how long, how long the line was. So I wanted to be on top of it. And people were already here at 4.30, but I mean, it's worth it, so. Uh, I'm excited. Hope our teachers don't see. We can <laughs> make up school. We can't make up the school. We can't. It's an experience. So yeah, why not? Those schools are always fun. It is going to be a fantastic Juneteenth event. Kevin Rom reporting. Tomorrow, people in D.C. have a shot at getting passes for the festival. The D.C. locals only sale takes place from 10 to 4 at the Entertainment and Sports Arena located on the St. Elizabeth's East Campus in Washington. Stay with us. Wavy News 10 at 6 starts right now.